Dun, dun, dun. Uncle L here, and uh, you're thinking about buying the fish pond road trip soft fly tying kit RTFTK S by Fish Pond. Uh, we'll go over and show you what I find right away and what I got in there. Mostly I tie jigs, so uh, this is the Wapsy 180th and uh, it's just like a micro trimer for crappie and then I have a little spring on there for the for the crappie niblet so just a 180th and um, we'll show you what I found first off is I even got it pried a little loose let's see if we can get it more 80 bucks this is the coolest feature about the bag I think because I had threads I didn't even know about. So if that's permanently on, that's a pain in the ass to get off. So they could have made that rubberized or something. See how that tight fit is? And you just can't get into there. So that's the number one, but that's the coolest feature about it because I get to look at my threads. So let's open her up. A small pocket right here. Um, looks like it fits everything. We'll turn her sideways. So another thing they could have done was made this that clear stuff. Because I'm going to stick something in here and I'm never going to... That's the black hole. That's what happened in my plastic tote. So maybe that's for my crappie tail, that stretch magnet or stretch magic. Uh, maybe throw in a few beads. Alright, that's sorted out. Uh, this right here, and these are all removable, so that's the cool feature. So you can stick your, uh, I stuck my fish, my eyes I tie on right there, uh, the spring for the bait. And uh, so see, that doesn't close all the way. And then that pops off easier when it's full, but then it doesn't go all the way down. So, and then let's go with this one. Yeah, so, whoa, see, you might have to throw on another Velcro. Uh, come to the tool thing. I don't have all your fancy fly jig tying tools. Maybe that's going to stay in. A little bit of weight makes that separate. See how it is on the, got the vise in here. So my bobbin, I need a place to throw it with. A spool on it because you know I have a favorite spool color or whatnot. Let's push that back on. There we go. Um, place for my scissors, but that feels like it's gonna stab. Um, what they should have done was see that thread almost popped off. Magnetized it. Bam. So if you had a couple magnetized strips right here, they might have updated this, got a newer version. But yeah, I could throw my scissors right there. It's not going to poke anything. This already fell out, but it's sideways. But oh, maybe that's cheaper metal. So maybe my thread thing won't fit. Let's see if the bobbin would. No. Oh, yeah, see? And that way when you closed it, pop it back open oh yeah my split ring pliers fit down there these hackle things I've never used them uh, let's put that back in there and maybe I don't know it would have been nice to see the clear they got this clear stuff and the whole thing has clear there's another pocket right here but again if you put something in there it disappears. So let's open the center up. If I had a high-end vise, it's just a 20 buck one from Walmart or uh, Cabela's. Uh, close that up. Maybe it's supposed to lean sideways, but whoops. I want my scissors. Come on. Stay in there. Whoops. This is a pretty cool feature. So I make spinners out of these and uh, throw it in lightweight water uh, right above the weed lines. So if it's shallow, 
put this in front and then throw that right there and then put my treble hook on the back and it flutters and you can cut these trim these down open them up they got a bigger vibration then you close them down and then it got this tighter vibration so use those this was pretty cool um, so I can see those transparency right here we got some tails and that's pretty cool and then we got some more single tails up here we got our chenille I think it's called so I can just look right there copy and uh, see this is what they should have done right here just put that material in there put on the zipper that way you can see what's going on my micro chenille uh, my fancier different color ones I can sort of see in there so that's a good thing uh, the flashaboo barely fit in there and then extra of my so you need a lot more of these pockets clear but if you made this clear then you could have seen what's in there uh, I still need a place for my super glue and maybe somewhere for that so let's see yeah if that was clear I might be able to get that in there I don't care if it spills and we have that so maybe it's gonna fit oh it's glowing that's pretty cool so yeah that might work but then I can't see what's in there and I think that's pretty much all so hopefully you don't have too much tools let's go ahead and close this bad boy up I'm going to be amazed. Whoa, the set's falling down. Oh, I was going to be amazed if they only had one front zipper, or main zipper. Uh, pull handles are cool. Everything fits. Yeah. So, thumbs up. Uh, Magnetize things for the tools would have been cool. I don't know how sturdy it would have been, but, or the transparent, everything was transparent, but the back pockets, the front pockets, you could have used more transparency, and uh, it would have been cool. Uncle L's done griping, and uh, hopefully that helps you set up your fly tying stuff or whatnot. Hopefully you don't have too much tools or too much flashaboo or, I don't know. For me, that's the basic colors of jigs, and I still got a lot more. So it is definitely a travel one, and hopefully you know what you're fishing for. Oh, I forgot my head cement. Hmm. Yeah. But it's organized and I spent some money, so Uncle L's out.